Okay, today we're checking out Industries of Titan. I'm AA, a professional internet person. I know what I'm doing. This is an automation colony defense city builder, currently 25% off, uh, and this is a sponsored video, so please go check out my link in the description if you like what you see. Um, as of this upload, uh, uh, that is as of this upload, it is 25% off, so not forever, but yeah. Um, let me see. This is by Brace Yourself Games, who created Crypt of the Necro Dancer, if I am not mistaken, which had that amazing Danny Baranowski soundtrack, so... Like, kind of walking into some very big shoes right here, but this is a uh, very different kind of game. Um, probably, like, I, I feel as though this is kind of speaking for itself. This is one of the cities that I made, and, like, this one is kind of doomed to be destroyed because we're playing survival wave defense mode, and I, I wasn't too particularly smart here, but there were some things that I did well. I'm going to slightly tweak some of the settings, and we'll actually see. There's going to be some suspense because I genuinely don't know if we will survive it, so it may just end in horrible failure. Um, but this has got a lot in common with games like uh, Factorio, Dyson Sphere Program, They Are Billions, Diplomacy is not an option, and I would put in Urbeck in there just for look and feel. A lot of stuff that I, I think we've enjoyed over the last year. Um, I'm still kind of getting a hang of the general gameplay loop, and I'm, I am quite bad at these games, so streaming it is going to make me very, like slow, you will notice, but I'm probably going to slow down time a lot. Um, other things to say, just as we kind of intro and then I'll get into the actual menu and the game modes, the voice acting is incredible, just like really amazing assets in this game. You can even go all the way around in voxel art. I mean, I had seen t Twitter artists like this who were making specialized voxel art for years, and I was just like, this needs to be playable. Um, so it is nice to be able to play something like this. Um, let me see what else. There is, like, granular control. As you saw, I went into a factory, so you can actually check out your workers. I mean, there's, like, pollution on the ground that they're cleaning up. You can, auto you can get into the automation and efficiency of every individual step and task. Or you can also just kind of bring it out to macroeconomic management if you get into the larger city. And as you can see, my workers are actually walking around here. Uh, along with the citizens. So there's quite a lot to be had here for people who enjoy automation and city builder games. Kind of curious to see where the city building slash defense comes in because there is some of that too, but I'm kind of curious what is... Like, I still haven't really hit um, the satisfying gameplay loop only because I'm very bad and I usually fail my first run or two on these games. So, like, we will we will have that. Um, although I have confidence we will do well, because it is hard, and I like that about it. Um, it's never worth playing these games if they're too easy, but although I do find it accessible, it's also very difficult, which I like. Um, but yeah, granular micromanagement involves into uh, greater macro management, city management. Um, I think we're going to be playing survival mode, because there is a campaign mode. Now I'm going to go back out into the main menu map, um, although I... I do want to show you what happens when my city is destroyed immediately because this was pre-attack. This was when everything was going to be really bad. I just want to show you an attack for a moment only because it is exciting. Uh, we get the rebel ship and you will at least get to see 30 seconds until I'm going to be attacked by like sort of a sassy rebel. Um, and this is, this is the combat in the game and I'm going to just burrow all of my buildings underground only because I know what's happening. We didn't have any military, unfortunately. So she has like some sort of faux hawk and she's upset about this. There's like very, very good voice acting, but as a content creator, like I want to do the voice acting. So here we go. All right, so th this would destroy our HQ and totally ruin our entire base. Um, there's actually a lot of exposition here, though. I, I am beginning to realize just how much of a mouthful it is to play this game and speak of it. Um, sorry, hang on a second. I just accidentally clicked out because it just changes when I did the main menu. Okay, and then there we go. I am getting an echo from my voice. There we go. All right, so we're going to start a new game here. Um... Uh, notifications are back on, and yeah, feel free to hop in with, uh, backseating if you enjoy. Alright, so we're gonna be starting a new game. Um, Industries of Titan, again, bringing to mind, uh, visions of Thanos dancing in my head. Uh, there are many modes. There's campaign. I have not tried scenario. Scenario. <laughs> Dynamic difficulty. You can play your way. This is almost like Subway or BK. Wh whose uh, slogan is that almost? 
Uh, you will die eventually, so we have the sort of Project Zomboid emote. Uh, Zen, which I've not done because it seemed too, like, peaceful, and then Campaign, which I was mostly learning the game on. I'm actually going to play on easy, um, and it's not actually even easy, uh, because... <laughs> Rebel Spawn destroyed buildings, uh, because normal is already hard to begin with. Uh, there are some very beautiful looking maps here. I'm going to play on... I really wanted to play on this one because it's green and I like green backgrounds. So I do regret that, but this is also kind of like a desolate future wasteland. So I think we will just do the standard investment. So basically we are like a, a corporate, a corporation, which I have already predetermined the name. Although Twitch chat is welcome to like suggest names and perhaps I will add them in. Although my proposed one, which I will announce in a moment as I decide on a logo. Let's have this because it's like kind of an upward thing. It's very positive. You can see that it is rising on the XY graph. I was thinking <laughs> we should do TurboTax because everyone is getting TurboTax ads. AAs, I was thinking of going for the classic organization. Um, mm, the colony, AAs, organ col organizational colony. <laughs> Guys, I can't say t I can't say that because it's already the name of a real company. Although, wouldn't that be such a funny spoof of a real thing? Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that is to say that this game is kind of memey, so you will find in a moment. But this is actually quite good. Although I have, I'm really confident in my in my nomenclature, so I'm actually gonna s just gonna stay with my thing. Um, I just haven't been able to re reference organs in like a memey way for many years. I don't know why this is such like an amazing return to that. Like I, uh, like those young and innocent days. Okay, so what is there to say um, as we watch the beautiful cutscene? Because I think it is very nice. And it has this kind of like Deus Ex-y kind of vibe. Industries of Titan is the name of the game. Founder, the council is glad to see you. We have significant investments riding on your success. Okay, so basically, like, Earth is, uh, not available for some reason in the story of this game. Like, people are getting off of Earth in, in search of work. And I'm going to pause only because there is a timer here and we will be attacked by rebels, like, if I am not careful. Um, as you can see, we're landing in the spaceport, the starport. And what will become of our voxel ship? This has actually got workers on it right now. I believe we start with nobody in the headquarters, and this is basically our property. So we are like a... Without succumbing to the verbal diarrhea, we like there's so much going on. We are a private contractor working for a very mysterious, like, is it the feds or is it a private enterprise council? Who really knows who won politically on Earth? Um, but they are very, like, openly rude to me all the time whenever I try to ask them for money, which is what we'll probably be doing for most of the beginning of this. Um, and basically, I'm trying to, uh, for lack of a better term, brainwash everyone into becoming, like, a mindless employee. And then we take the private citizens and we try to force them to watch a lot of advertisements so that we can get their money back. Does that make sense? Basically, this game is all about getting everyone to watch as many YouTube advertisements targeted to them through the amazing algorithm as is possible, which is ironically like what is probably going on outside of this video, and that is kind of a good meta, I suppose, for YouTube. Um, but that is to say, like, that is basically what the goal of this game is, and then there's a bunch of rebels attacking us. All right, like, that was a mouthful. But that's been, everyone is like, ah, oh, I, yes, I know this situation, what is going on here. I know how this will end. Okay, so here our workers are getting off kind of in surviving Mars style. They come to the planet, and this is how we get more people. The pigeons getting ready. Now, these are our employees. These aren't citizens, so they can actually work for us. But the citizens will bring in and get them to look at advertisements in order to earn us money. I know that sounds crazy, but that's literally, <laughs> that's the deep lore of this game. McBobby Fresh. Also, thank you very, very much for the sub. So there's a lot to be done, and I really don't want to faceplant here, so I'm just going to tell... Ev I'm going to pause, and I'm going to tell everybody in my corporation to go ahead and scan all the resources around us. This is a pretty good use of time. We have some time before the rebels come, but I want my employees to go ahead and scan all of these ruins just to find out what's in them. 
We have a combination of resources here. We have actually there's two res there's two primary resources. There's minerals and there's isotopes. And then you also generate waste and you can get credits, which are basically just, you know, cash money. Uh, artifacts can also be had. These are Erlenmeyer flasks, basically. And then we have influence to, with which to, well, influence the council to give us stuff. Currently, our private property is designated by the blue rectangle. Uh, this isometric rectangle here, we can rotate the view. There's pretty good camera controls and everything like that. Considering how much beautiful voxel stuff there is. Uh, the yellow area is the, the areas that we can, like, make a purchase in. And then... Everything outside of that we, we can't really get yet. We have the spaceport and we have the council hall, which those are the people with all the money and they make the decisions and so on and so forth. Um, basically everything you would think of like this scammy intergalactic council. Um, what else is there to say before we get started and basically just like face plant into making a lot of power? We need to get a lot of these mineral CUs before we get started and we also don't want to waste too many of them so we should try to get some factories up ASAP. We're gonna need these isotope CUs. But pretty much when we survey an area we can go ahead and decide whether we want to get its minerals and uh, resources. Either that or we could opt to get the artifacts. So we could extract the artifacts or salvage it. So we kind of need to make this decision of well which one looks more attractive here. Like here the artifacts look way better than the minerals. I'm just going to say two artifacts compared to like nine minerals. Not that good. But here clearly just one ar artifact versus 32 minerals and four isotopes. Uh, this seems much better. There are also three tiers of each of e uh, the types of resources that you get by processing them more. And it's really worth it to process them. So we want to set up our uh, industry chains of like automation and processing because it's like... Level 1 processing is worth 5 times the first level, and level 3 processing, or what did I say, level 2? 5 times, then 25 times, which is like a, a huge, huge advantage. So we, we want to process those as much as we can. Obviously, though, this is going to cause a bottleneck and like a race against time, and we'll want to keep working on our production, so there is that kind of going on here. I'm also going to enter the HQ and just get some really basic stuff set up. Uh, so we do have some storage, but what else do we really want? We don't want to. We want to minimize the use of our resources at first. Um, I'm just trying to think of how exactly I want to do this. We're going to need more mineral seas. We want to process these things asap. But we're also going to need a lot of energy. So let's go ahead and put in. We're going to put in a little bit more storage here first off, just because we need some basic storage. And as you can see, they're entering through the right side door, bottom right side. And if we go out to the map, that does actually co correspond to where the actual entrance is on this building. So quite cool right there. Um, and you don't have to go through that entire, like, swooping animation every single time you do it, because you can just quick access these. Although if I click there, yeah, it does instantly get me. That was a little bit much, I found. Um, but let's go ahead and see. We're going to go ahead and do... We probably will want a waste receptacle as well. Um, and we want to generate some power, but I think for right here, we can just sort of do production. Can we go straight into a factory? We have one more isotope. C yeah, we do. Okay, so we can totally do this. Okay, I'm going to put a factory right here. Mm. Also, Aphronite, thank you very much for the sub. This is going to be like my power generation factory, and this is going to be quite large. Um, I think I'll go right here. It remains to be seen whether this is the best ultimate location for this. Although power can be generated basically out of thin air, you will find, which is quite crazy. Um, let's go ahead and we want to do something with these as well. I think we could just use the raw resources a little bit more right now as, as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. These artifacts are going to be way better for this point, so I'm just going to do that. And then this literally just has waste, so I'm just going to destroy this. Uh, you don't want to gather up too much waste because it tends to slow down your workers, and when you process it, you have like pollution and people get sick and die. Um, but the, the one effect that I've noticed firsthand is that they just get slowed down when they walk over trash. Um, does it have any end game? Basically, right now, I'm just in wave survival. Uh, although there is a campaign. I, I kind of like the wave survival more for streaming. Um, 
I have refrained from doing the campaign only because I find that when I do something that has too much story and stream, I don't really get to tell the story of the game. I just kind of prefer games that just center on gameplay like that. So I always regret that I can never really get to that type of thing with these games. I've already kind of laid out how I want my power generation to look here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it like this. And then we'll have space for two more re giant reactors in this room. Now this is going to be really good because you do demand quite a lot of power throughout this game. Um, actually quite a lot of it. I, I, I honestly feel like that... I. I, I wish that it were generating more power. Um, I, I feel like I spent too much time building up power. I do hope that if it ever gets a patch, they will slightly give you more power. Um, but that is to say, anyway, we're generating power, but this isn't currently generating power yet. Um, this is a fuel fabricator. So basically, this is sucking air, which has something called zethane. Is this a real thing? Z thing or is this a made up thing like I don't understand chemistry I I was very poor in chemistry in school and I don't know what is it sounds real it's made up okay it just has an X and it sounds well it sounds real <laughs> that is to say um <laughs> it's so funny I don't know what real chemicals are instant instantly just lost all of my authority to speak on this matter anyway so now we are generating nine power though and extra two fuel, which we can pretty much just get this stuff for free. So it's methane. It's methane. Okay, fair. I didn't know if there was another thing. Um, hmm. Monetization sta station. So we aren't really going to do that for a while. We may not even use that at all, although I, I will show you what it is. A uh, waste receptacle. We are going to start generating waste, so this is concerning. But we won't generate any waste from here. I just want to make sure I get everything really laid out right before we get started, because if you mess up this part, you're really in doo-doo. Uh, very deep doo-doo. Incredibly beautiful rain. Um, okay, so that was really the first thing on my checklist was basic power generation. The next thing we're going to need is an energy pylon if we want to transfer this power to other buildings nearby. So this is generating power inside of this factory, but we needed to get that... Uh, I'll just go back in here. I built a uh, an energy bridge along with the relay, which is basically like a node that channels it in the room. This channels it outside of the building. Gets fuel, um, transfers power from the... Or actually, hang on a second. I don't even know if I understand how my own machine works. The fuel goes into the generator, and the generator needs to connect to the relay to get the power to the energy bridge and then the energy bridge transfers it outside of this building which can then be transferred to an energy pylon and then that gets out to other buildings so that we just can keep power management in one building it's quite a lot of steps but it a little bit reminded me of that thing in star dais um and i'm assuming that we can unlock better stuff to make that like slightly less heavy-handed um but where are we now Hang on a second. So really, my overall goal here was to just start processing these minerals ASAP. And I'm also going to just ask the council for money, as I'm going to probably do a lot throughout this stream. I'm also going to claim this and grab some other things. How do I sound like I know what I'm doing so much? Uh, I really did kind of struggle in the first, like, hour a bit, but I feel like I, I picked it up pretty fast. I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Uh, that is quite a lot of waste. I might not want that, although it is a lot of minerals as well. Why am I sounding like a a uh, Agent Hank Schrader suddenly? Uh, this also looks pretty good. This is quite clearly a good place to get the minerals level 2. So these are 5. Those minerals with Mark II on them are worth 5 times as much as our basic minerals. They're minerals, Marie! <laughs> Remember when Hank gets bedridden? Bobby Lightweight and Sad Nugget, thank you very much for the subs. Um, sorry, any any opportunity to recall the, the fine moments of Agent Hank Schrader is always a, an opportunity at a good, at a good, uh, at a good laugh. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just check on one really quick thing. So I want to go into production. I want to... No, we actually have to create these things inside of... Yeah, sometimes you can kind of... Energy, beautiful, fuel, no, this isn't it. Conversion center. Citizens, nope, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, so yeah, we actually do have to automate this small 
process. Okay, so this is good because I practiced at this a lot before the stream, and there are some things that you learn that are slightly redundant here, and I was just wondering if this is one of them that I had missed. Or, like, they seem... That is to say that they are granular tasks at the beginning, but they can be made... Like, you can just export them all and or expedite them into one building when you do it right. Like I told you, put on your thinking cap for this game. Um, but yes, there are there are indeed layers. Um, hang on a second. Why is this not getting built? Do we not have the resources for it? Uh, this is my pylon. We have 16 of these. Um, whoops, there we go. Okay, oh, we need isotope. Oh, they are clearing out the waste. Okay, so this is another thing that, that is a mechanic in the game. So there is waste just kind of lying around. I'm not sure if we can see it on this overall map right here. But I'm going to go back into our HQ, and because I really just don't have anywhere better to store this right now, I'm going to just make some waste receptacles here. So the door is right here. I don't want them to have to walk around a ton to get to the waste receptacles, because I bet you they're going to be using these things a lot. So let's put them in there like that. That might be too many, actually. Let's um, just do that with slash. There is very good hot keying to be had here. Okay, good. so they are making some waste receptacles, which do exactly what you think they would. Um... They just put all of the kind of stuff that's lying around. The trash. I'm going to see if there is... Uh, let me see. Is, did Factory 2 get anything? No, oh, no. Factory 2 was the one that we just built. And this is going to be for our resource processing. So I'm going to go ahead and check on our resources. We really want to get these level 2 up into level 3. But eh, let's be very granular and start at the beginning. Okay, so the door is here and I want to get my work chain going. So what I'm going to try to do is take these tier 1 minerals... <laughs> I get to say minerals so many times. Um, I, I'm going to take the tier 1 minerals and then manufacture those into tier 2 minerals. And then I'm going to take the tier 2 minerals and manufacture those into tier 3 minerals. Pretty straightforward. Um, but I'm going to take these L1 processors. And this is rather involved and it is kind of like a game of Tetris anytime that you try to do it. So let me just see. I want to make this... I didn't really come up with the perfect blueprint for this when I was playing before, which I regret. So I think I'm just going to be very humble and put one on each floor and leave a lot of room for waste capacity and just that kind of thing. Uh, because I really, so this is the input module. And then we also need an employee module. So this is the place where we turn the mod, the, the, the minerals from tier one into tier two. So we need a place for the worker to stand, which we can just kind of leave that on the edge because the worker will just kind of well, stand there. Um, the mineral input module, we want to have near a stack of minerals to just kind of make the workflow good. Um, I think I'm going to put that there because it's near the entrance and people are going to have to keep reloading this thing. And then we'll put a large container right there. This is fairly large. Then we will also go ahead and take the output module and put that also somewhere that is somewhat accessible for them. Hang on a second. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm not going to do it like this. I'm going to take the worker module and put that on the far side of the... Uh, I mean, this is an okay layout, but it's kind of good enough. Okay, we'll put the output module over here, only just so that people, when they're walking in and out of the room, they only have to go to these sides if they want to put things into containers. Then we're going to go ahead and put... We'll do storage over here, and I'm just realizing one last thing. This is the mineral... Wait a minute. No, I made the wrong thing there. Output. Wait a minute. Did I do two outputs? Input, output. Oh, I knew I did one thing wrong. I accidentally did two of those. Okay, so this is the main thing that makes it. This is the input. This is the output. Good enough. And then let's put the worker and the waste modules over here. So this thing is going to generate waste, and we don't want it to just go everywhere. Um, and then where is the employee module? So it does get a bit granular, granular like this, and I know that was quite a lot. It took me a little while to figure it out, but honestly, like, in a half hour, you'll have it down pad and probably be making better constructions than I am. Um, although I realize that putting it out into words is just horrible. Um, let's go ahead and put in some power generation into here, and then we'll also put in one of these things. Can I do this? Slightly awkward the way that I constructed it. Eh, I'm just trying to supply power to everything now. Okay, I'm going to just have to create a couple of these things. This looks somewhat horrible, I am aware, but 
Uh, I believe that will cover all of them. Let's just make sure that they get supplied with power. They do construct them rather fast, though. Okay, so we can then assign an employee to work on that. Let's make sure now it's working. And good, yeah, everything seems to be working here. Then we can also go ahead and take a stack. Let's take this and let's say enable. And we want them to just store mineral tier one in here because we want them to make sure that they're using that for the storage of that stuff. Anyway, good enough. I just, I'm doing all this because setting this up right early is going to save us a lot of time and headaches. Uh, that is where the waste, I am also filtering the waste out into this thing, and then I have another waste storage unit here so that they can move that in. And I'm just going to avoid handling the waste problem for a while. Um, I, we will store tier two minerals in here only, and then these ones could just be anything. We don't really want isotopes in here, though, because that would be kind of a waste of, I mean, we're trying to do minerals. Minerals, Marie. Okay, cool. So somebody is working at this now and we are processing all of those, but we still want to do yet another level of mineral processing. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do here, if this works, is to just straight up upgrade this factory right away. And then we're going to gather more minerals and then we're going to create another tier where we process them into the best form of minerals. That's going to set up, us up right from the start at just like being really, really efficient. Whew. Anyway, I feel as though that was very heavy-handed in my explanation, but that's about the only time that I will be that heavy-handed for a while. Um, I'm also just going to go ahead and salvage some more of these areas. Uh, this one isn't that good, but we are kind of running low on influence with the council. We now have five artifacts, and we can influence the council, but I think I'm going to use my artifact uh, to do the spaceport instead. Now we can start to take in migrants as well, which uh, you may have noticed we have... 8 out of 10 employees. We have the work day going on right now. This is, I believe, the first day. Yeah, day 0, 8.47 p.m. And um, I'm going to go ahead and actually give them somewhere to live because I have not done that yet. Um, hmm. I'll give them some just random habitat pods until we have better solutions for this. Do these actually need to be powered? Yes, there's also blueprints. There are copy and paste settings for the storage. Ah, that is very nice. Yes, this game is doing a very good job at, like, getting all of that good automation blueprinty kind of thing. Although I'm probably going... I'll do it later on in the stream if we have time. Hear me now, believe me later. But yes, you are right. <laughs> yeah, it is there. <laughs> um, yeah, ASAC Schrader. <laughs> hey, Roll Daddy, yeah. thank you very much for the Prime. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of an odd place for a puzzle, I feel like. But I think you can also chain them together. I'm, st I mean, the jury is still kind of out on, like, whether I, whether I feel like that this adds to the gameplay. Um, I would like it to kind of, I would like more options as it opens up. So I haven't seen the, um, the floors rising. Or, like, one thing that I will show you. If, uh, yes, here, now. It is taller and upgraded. So this is now our new factory. The entrance is right here. We're processing the minerals, minerals, Marie, right here. Uh, and then there's an elevator, which is very hologrammy in the back. And we could probably put the tier two, m here we go. There are uh, two, I know that they look like a Super Mario, like block that needs to be popped or something. Do not be fooled, they are not that. Uh, we're gonna go up to the next floor and we're just gonna be very humble right here and we will, we have enough, we have 86 of these things. All right, let's go up to floor two and I'm going to name this uh, mineral processing, or do I have enough characters for that? Otherwise, we'll just do minerals, Marie. We'll we'll just call this minerals, Marie. Oh no, we don't get the whole thing. <laughs> I feel like that that gives me clear enough of an idea. We can even title these things too to keep it. So this is M one to two. I guess just to remind myself that we have mineral tier one to tier two, and then here we'll have M tier. Oh, no, it instantly got renamed. Oh, did I press enter? Well, whatever. I kind of know what they're doing. We'll just call this M23 because they go from 2 to 3 there. And we'll call this M12 because these go from 1 to 2 there. That sort of makes sense. Don't question it. Um, what else is there? Good evening to you, Meat Ghost. Welcome into the stream. Um, 
Hmm. So again, we're going to need to do the power generation thing, which I kind of wish that it worked for all of the levels of the building, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing as we did on the last floor here. And I, I think I'm going to just be very, like, humble again and not try to bite off more than I can chew. Um, this is the input module, so I will again keep this close to the door so that people can work it. But in fact, let's actually not do that there. Let's do it, like, slightly more out here so we just have a little bit of breathing room. And that's just about perfect. Yeah, we're also going to want some waste receptacles here as well. And they're probably going to be hitting this up quite a lot. The employee module, they won't really be touching as often. Put it on this side. And then the output module we'll put over here because they will be coming to and fro from that quite often. Okay, and then again, we will, we will double that up with all the containers and storage and stuff like that. The only real unfortunate thing is that they're going to have to climb a lot of floors to get these building resources, which they will be using quite frequently. Um... We will put one of those there, and then we'll put another waste receptacle there, and let's see them build that. Do we also have enough resources for all that stuff? Just want to make sure. But that's about as granular as it gets. Like, I really dug in with the weeds, because then after that, it gets it evolves more from micromanagement into macromanagement. So there go my employees. They do build very fast, so you don't have, like, these annoying chains of um, orders that get done. I, I do like that about about this um energy bridge we'll go ahead and put another one of these down and oh no we just ran out of resources again uh what an unfortunate time to run out of resources yet again um but this is good because we can be a little bit more efficient after this uh this is very expensive we can't claim that right now uh we will take this though because it is quite unambiguous you want to keep the artifacts as like you want to use the artifacts the best you can but when there are just no artifacts it's quite clear that you should just Take the minerals. Minerals, Marie. I'm so happy that I get to reference Breaking Bad often during this. It's my favorite show. I make it sound like friends, though. I didn't mean like you watch it often. Um, I was watching Breaking Bad the other day. I suppose you could come back and revisit it. The episode where, where Walt throws the pizza on the roof and the people in real life actually threw the pizza onto that person's roof. And then it just became a nuisance and then the director had to like make a public statement. Or wasn't that a thing? I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally wrong on these facts. I saw a very good YouTube documentary on that. Anyway, um, okay, let's go back into headquarters. Uh, or miner <laughs> minerals. <laughs> I'm n I can't stop. Um, okay, let's go to M23. Okay, so here, good. We've got the power nodes going again. And, ah, we can actually channel all of our areas. That is quite good. Does that cover everything with one fell swoop? I believe it does, actually. I believe it does. And we can assign an employee to that as well. So we will assign that from zero to one. And that is actually powered uh, everything except that we are not generating enough power. So now we need to go back out into the world. We'll go back to our... We will call this our power factory. And I do all caps, power, there we go. Okay, so now we can actually just quick access this. We'll go straight to powers, or power. And then I, I came up with a design I found decently satisfying here to get three of these things into one area. And no, we don't really have to access these very often. Um, I guess I could put a fourth one here. But I also kind of question if I'll have enough fuel for that. Let's find out what we get when we do this. Good, so now that's on our grid. Now we're using up way more fuel, though, which is why... I guess I could put all of the fuel onto one other floor, but I'm just like, uh, I don't know if I really trust myself to do that right yet. And we'll just try to squeeze in the last bits of energy that we can in here. It's just horribly claustrophobic, but it is what it is. Okay, so why is this generator upset? Oh, no, it's good now. So now we're generating a copious amount of power. Um, and we've actually got some time. I, normally I thought that the Rebel Wave would have come on here. I may actually play this game too well and overwhelm the Rebels when they arrive. But that is kind of nice. Look at all of the voxel magic happening there. That's just very nice in my opinion. Um, although I do not know like the, like the pro gamer strats. 
Like this always happens to me whenever I play Factorio with Troopin, is that Troopin knows the ratios, and I just feel like a dingus when I play with him. But like there's honestly playing Factorio with Troopin is like a mind altering experience. Like just for hours I was going, Oh like <laughs> And then everyone was like, "Wow, AA, hey, you're really stupid on the bottom." I'm like, "No, like I'm 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 just normal. I don't I don't have the I well, I mean, yeah, but anyway, this does happen when I play automation games for the first time. Like another brain wrinkle emerges. Trupin is quite magical though, but you know, you have my permission to tell them him that I said that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's cancel out all of these things. We will allow them to put other types of minerals, minerals, Marie, in there. Um, but let's go ahead and say, uh, yeah, just make sure that they don't put any isotopes. I'm not going to get too, too micromanagey here. I could do a little bit of copying and pasting, but I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now um, this is amazing because we've turned all of those one counts of minerals into 25. We've 25 x our mineral production, which is amazing at this point in the game. And it's going to be very, very necessary uh, for improving. Okay, so you might think, what is there else in this game besides the production of minerals? Because we can't just be here all day talking about minerals. <laughs> Although I could, obviously. Um, we need credits because we're running out of credits because we need to pay our employees every day. Okay, so the next thing that I really want to do is start to bring in citizens and force them to watch uh, advertisements in an office. I'm not kidding you, this is actually how the game works. Uh, don't question it, uh, that is just what's going on here. Um, although it might also be nice to start mining those out of the ground, I'm realizing. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll do the thing I said I would do. So I'm pretty sure that this building... I've actually not built one of these yet because I haven't... Uh, attaches to resource nodes or uh, resource patches to mine resources. So I'm assuming that I can then build... Oh, it's just because I haven't claimed these territories. My bad. So then let's go ahead and claim this. We're going to need 20 influence, so we're going to have to wait a couple of seconds. But basically the idea is this. I want some renewable source of minerals because so much keeps coming back to minerals in this game. And uh, I keep saying it. Um... <laughs> Uh, is it cheaper somewhere else? 20. I do want to keep my grid kind of tight. Yeah, we'll do it here. Okay, we're back at 19. Yeah, so basically, I mean, we've brainwashed the people that are, uh, that are the employees. I guess we can assign it. Oh, do they even need a mine? Oh, we have a certain remaining number of minerals. This is greatly dissatisfying to me because I was hoping that it would last forever. Hang on a second. How does this work? Attaches to resource nodes or resource patches to mines. Okay, we'll just do it like this, and I think that this game is a very generous refund policy, so if I do this wrong, then, then I shall forever go down in history as a fool. We'll wait for them to build that. Um, okay, they are clearing out the waste, and we are going to want to be very careful with this waste thing. Also, too, we, uh, we're going to need to wait. To, we are going to start sending the council just a lot of money, or asking the council for a lot of money, I meant to say. Um, yeah, that won't be very good. Uh, done the organization. Honestly, like, a pretty, a pretty good time. I am a fool, to be fair. Okay, so we are getting some amount of minerals here. Minerals. <laughs> oh, but we are also at the waste capacity, so let's go back into our HQ. We'll just quick access that. Is there a hotkey button for this? No, I think I do actually have to click into this one. Okay, so we will have more minerals here. Uh, I mean, uh, waste receptacles. <laughs> Not everything is a mineral. There we go. Okay, we'll do that. And this is going to get horribly out of hand in, like, very short order. Because they need to clear out the waste from this building. But they seem to be doing a pretty good job at doing this. Okay, the other thing we're going to go ahead and say is uh, make sure that they're using only the minerals tier 3 because we don't want them wasting these tier 1 minerals on stuff. Okay, we're going to be attacked by enemies in about a half hour if I'm playing on 3 times speed. So this is going to come up faster than I may think it will because we're going to have a lot to do in that time. Okay, so one of the more pressing concerns is the fact that we are constantly losing money. Um... We, we just get very low on credits, but I also want to think about my military. 
Um, we want to get up isotope processing. We've got mineral processing right now. Um, and we've got mineral mining. Hang on a second. Oh, we can actually set the targets of the mining. This is so good and nice and satisfying. That is very good. Oh, but we also need to power this, obviously. So yeah, we'll put out another energy pylon. Uh, and we need to buy this space, so we will claim that. Put in an energy pylon. You need to construct additional pylons. I obligatorily had to say it. Um, yeah, I, have I also, yeah, uh, to be fair, I've not given the employees any beds. Let's go ahead and see. So we've got eight employees and we've got only two places to sleep. But an unfortunate uh, happenstance that we forgot about that. Um, we'll go ahead and just, I'm going to kind of procrastinate this in because you can do this for right here. Habitability 45. I'm assuming it's probably not good to have them sleeping directly next to the waste, but this is kind of a temporary barracks as it stands right now. Um, and we can always bring in more people. Surprisingly, people are one of the, like, cheaper resources here. But we've got other freighters floating overhead with people coming. Um, but more importantly, okay, now we've got the mine working. And they call it a mine. Um, yay, yeah, verily. This is actually getting resources at very, very fast. I am happy about this. I'm a happy boy. Is there anything else I have to do? No, we could just keep setting new targets, I suppose. Okay, that is very nice. So. Um, we're going to want to think about the military, but we're going to need isotope CUs before we do that. It's not very expensive with those, but again, I want to be efficient with them because it is the one times, three times, nine times. Isotope CUs are not as plentiful, but, you know, they are pretty valuable because they are responsible for creating factories. So let's go ahead and just keep this kind of not confusing. We can also rotate these buildings, but I think I'm just going to leave them all. Eh, what the heck, I'll rotate it just for the sake of making it look like more visually interesting. Um, though I suppose you could kind of min-max that, to be fair. Hey, Red BSD, thank you very much for the sub. And we're also getting a raid from Cyclomatic. Hey, thank you very much, Cyclomatic. What are you guys up to? Thank you very much for sending your people over here. Oh, wait a second. I spelled your name wrong. Sorry. Give me one moment as the volume cuts out. I apologize for saying it wrong. I did not pronounce the T in there. I mean the C. Oh, wait. You guys were also on the fine game of Industries of Titan. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We are about to be horribly destroyed, so. I mean, it is what it is. Have you guys, uh, what mode did you guys do? Did you guys do wave survival? Or, or, as I like to think of it, wave. We might not survive. Uh, we have no more space for minerals, unfortunately. Alas, although we have many, many minerals. First time, everything is new. Everything is new to me as well, so I don't know. I mean, it's a good time. It's a good time. And it makes me think of Thanos. I have so many pop culture references in the stream. Okay, so we've got the factory ready. Uh, we, we need to upgrade this. Hopefully you will guide me, but also you've probably had a very long stream, so feel free to go ahead and just, I don't know, have a large plate of pasta. I do that after streaming. Not enough resources. Oh, wait a minute. We need nine isotope CPUs? I do like containing these into one building, though. I will not be stopped. Hang on a second. I'm going to need to waste more resources in order to do this in a really, like, a appreciably decent manner. So I'm going to go ahead and just start claiming things that look pretty good. Inert Ruin is probably very overpowered and I might be wasting this. But it has what I need, so I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, as far as council communications, eh, let's unlock the council now. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm going to go ahead and claim this and extract some artifacts. That's a decent trade. Uh, it is getting dangerously close. Hey, Anchor Management. Thank you very much for gifting Cyclomactic the, the gift sub. I hope you guys had a good stream. Also, now, now, no. Thank you very much for the very, very nice words. Oh, I'm happy that it helped you get through writing a research paper. Sometimes the content does that. I hope it helps you with whatever you need. Official stuff. Also, thank you very much for a prime. That is a very fun name. Official stuff. Uh, 
Okay, so you know what? To be fair, while we're waiting for these isotope uh, C CUs, I always want to say CPUs. But what would CU stand? What does CU stand for? Am I, did I miss that at some point? Um, let's go ahead and just do the level one to level two isotope processing here. So we'll pretty much ditto over our construction of the last room. In fact, let's go back to Minerals Marie and just see if we can, can we blueprint this anyhow? Oh, where was the blueprint menu? I forget where it was. Minerals Marie, Minerals Marie. Okay, it is, it escapes me where it is right now. I, I just totally am futzing this, I forget. But there is a blueprint feature. I'm just going to have to, let's put down more waste receptacles here though, because we are running out of space horribly. Um, yeah, we'll just put them around the edges of the room. That's good enough. That's good enough. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all waste. Okay, so now you get to see the miracle of waste. W will you allow us to see the miracle of waste? No, they aren't really walking over it very much, but they do get slowed down. You can see that they're kind of treading through this, like, or trudging through it. It's a very kind of slushy area. Um... Okay, the enemies are coming closer and closer to attacking, so I don't really have any time to procrastinate this. All right, let's just go ahead into here, and we will... Basically just recreate the format that we did there. Um, let's go ahead and do that for level one, and then we're going to use not minerals, but isotope inputs. And I guess we'll put our inputs again near the front of the room. Then we'll do the outputs near the side so that we can get that... Actually, actually, let's put the outputs farther to the back of the room so that they can then take the elevator, which is going to be located back there. So we have inputs and outputs, then we need waste modules, which can pretty much just go anywhere, and then the employee module where somebody works. Okay, so we're pretty good at getting this design down. Um, I think that's it. Whoops, uh, I need to go back inside, and then I'm also going to need a power, an energy bridge. And then we'll see if we can somehow wiggle this into place. Uh, I kind of messed this up as I did it. Whatever, I'm just going to build an excessive number of these things again. It's fine. Good enough and good enough. Did I even need that one other one? Oh, whatever, I don't think it's costing me anything. They don't really seem to need any upkeep. All the waste receptacles. <laughs> Yeah, there is quite a lot of waste in this. Oh, uh, wait, why, why is everything so loud? There were some music tracks that almost sounded like an Imogen Heap song to me. Like, there is a very good soundtrack underlying this game, although I am kind of keeping it low. Okay, why why is everything crazy? Um, oh, I, I know why. Because we ran out of power again. So this has a tendency to happen. Um... Uh, yeah, this is why I think that they it would be nice if they kind of upped the power generation amounts in the game. Um, either that or I'm just kind of doing it wrong. I can't really tell here. I would like to do this, but I'm just going to have to kind of waste more isotopes as I, like, kind of futz my way through this again. Uh, yeah, just give me more isotopes. Another thing that we could do is cut off power to one section of our base that's not as necessary, but I think everything right now is still kind of necessary, so I'm just going to keep it all. Um, and uh, actually, this is better for artifacts. I should not have done that. Well, in the meantime, I can unlock the council. And we can start just asking them for money and all kinds of things. <laughs> we have a tendency to just go to the council whenever we need money, which might be why they're not too happy with us. But we're also kind of defending their planet. I don't really get what their shtick is supposed to be. Like, they're they're never happy when I meet them, though. They they are never very happy with me. Yeah, it's not good. Why do we keep hovering between one and zero isotopes, though? Uh, let's also go back into our factory. Are there more of energy efficient sources in the game? Um, I do believe so. Or many things you can just expedite into one building. Um, however, I'm still kind of stuck at the granular phase. This is a part that I, I don't really clearly see why I'm spending so much time on the granular stuff right now. Like, it does feel like you spend a lot of time on this type of thing, and then it just sort of goes up in the air at the end. Um, but I have not really made it to that part of the gameplay yet. Oh, I know why it's wavering between one and two, because the factory keeps turning on and then back off again. 
I'm going to just disable this entire building of mineral processing so that we can power our isotope area. And I'm probably going to claim this one because that looks way better for isotopes. Those can be then processed and then we can create the upstairs. I just need one more influence up there. I need more Vespine gas. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's actually any inspiration there. Uh, the blue and the green. Though, although, you know. How many colors do you have to choose from when you're talking about intergalactic resources? You know what I mean? I feel like blue is kind of minerally. Okay, here we go. So we are processing this. So now we have one of these. So this is worth three. I can't... Ooh. Um, this is why. Uh, I didn't automatically allow them to select. Okay, yeah. So automatically use whatever currency you have. I should have done that a second ago. Uh, but alas, I did not. So now we currently have th three isotopes. And they should be bringing in the rest of these things. Although my workers have quite a lot of things to haul. Right now we're also at eight out of ten of our workers. Um... You know, I think we did okay with just not giving people beds before, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how we create new workers. So we're going to go over here. This actually looks like a pretty good ship. This costs us only six influence, and we have ten right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, and we have insufficient living space for this. So that's going to send in another space pod of people, but there's seven of them, and you can see that it still looks like they have free will. That's because they're citizens and they haven't been brainwashed as um, employees. I mean, I mean, um, changed. I don't really know what I mean. Yeah, it's dystopian. But, um, hmm. Uh, this is the last menu I was just looking at. Okay, so we're going to use a brainwash, I mean conversion capsule for these people. And, whoops, oh, I didn't mean to press F. F is the button to zoom in on that, which is a slightly unusual spot on my keyboard. Um. Let's go ahead and put that, the brain drain area right there. That way they have access to all the waste things. What a great place to put a brain drain thing. Okay, so citizens basically get you credits by watching advertisements that are targeted to them. Sound familiar? Um, <laughs> YouTube. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's just the new world order. That's the way it is with atomism and postmodernism. Um, what did everyone watch a TurboTax ad to see this on Twitch too? <laughs> so yeah, I mean like that's kind of the new world order that we're living in. So like, yeah, um, nice knowing you. Anyway, we'll use that to brainwash them. I'm just going to say it onto our, um, yeah, we'll convert one of them. We need to use an artifact to convert a citizen into this. And look, there comes our nice smooth boy into the bed. There is a pillow in there. <laughs> There is a pillow in there, though. It's very comfortable. Look, and he comes out in his blue sort of, like, Dr. Gru minions. This person also got out of bed. Look, your old bed didn't even have a pillow. Oh, wait, no, it did have a pillow. Well, that is... I guess it would prevent you from, like, tossing and turning in it. Anyway, we have two more employees. Oh, and we've somehow... I don't even actually know how we up our employee. How do we up our employee limit? Was it due to my awesome bed management? Whatever it is due to. Um... Yeah, let's just keep getting more employees, because we kind of need them. Now, you can notice, I mean, like, I haven't done anything for the military here. It, it, it is getting dangerously close. Uh, like, this game is is kind of huffing and puffing, you know? Like, you're, you're going to be out of breath. Trying to get everything efficient. Oh my gosh, there's so much, just, like, crap on the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do need to take care of that somehow. So we will do that. Uh, I'm just going to keep procrastinating with the problem for a, a, a while longer, quite a while longer. So what else are we doing? We have tons of minerals, so I'm not really worried about that for right now. Um, we will automatically keep using the best currency here. And now we can upgrade this building, and we can also upgrade this building so we can get more power generation going. Phew, that was a lot. That was actually quite exhausting, but we have a really effective resource chain going right now. And this building is totally turned off, so my gosh, that actually looks very gross. So next, we're probably going to start handling the waste, which we have uh, not yet. Ugh. Oh, you're getting Tide Pod? Com com Tide Pods. Why do I sound like Peter Griffin <laughs> all of a sudden? 
Did you get the ad with Gronk telling you not to eat uh, Tide Pods? That's everyone's favorite Tide Pod ad. Use them for washing, not eating, people. Remember. Remember, don't eat the Tide Pods. Uh, Gronk. I won't even remember Gronk for his football career because I'll be too busy. Whenever I see a Tide Pod, I'll think of Gronk. Uh... <laughs> Oh, well, that's interesting. So the buildings, when I've rotated them, actually get somewhat more unique. Let's rename this one as well. Um, quick access. Factory th 3, so this will be... Isotopes. Uh, I don't really have any pop culture reference for isotopes, so I'm just going to call this isotopes. Uh, not Vespine gas. There we go. So we will just do that. It, was it Vespine gas? Was that the StarCraft thing? Man, what a lovely homage, if it is. What a lovely homage that that may be. I'm going to put the power generation up here. And let me just try to ditto exactly the formation that I had on the last floor, because that was quite sustainable. And we will put in the large boy generator there, and we will put in the small boy one here. And then we will do one of these things, and then we'll do this thing. And then I don't want to block out my construction. I do believe that they actually need to access that, but then after they're done, it's it's over. The Simpsons sports team. I do not know that Simpsons reference. The isotopes. My favorite Simpsons reference would be oh, the monorail. Mono means one, and rail means rail. Monorail. Ah, uh, the Simpsons. Uh, very, very amazing memories. It's particularly The Simpsons Hit and Run. As a gamer. As a gamer. Alright, so we've got our power factory, our minerals factory, and our isotopes factory. Uh, we've also got our mine, which uh, we need to keep setting this target. It would be... Can I just automate that? Oh, we can actually upgrade the range of the mining as well. That is quite nice. What would prevent me from just destroying it and then... Rebuilding. I, I don't. Not one hundred percent sure here. Um, TBD. TBD. Uh, or though I might just do multiple. How many isotopes are in here anyway? We should have a goodly amount of resources for a long time anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead back up to our isotopes, and then after I finish off this isotopes processing, which wait a minute, did I just do it? No, I didn't. Okay, we will do one more isotope processing here, and then we'll be done with all the kind of granular stuff, and we'll start moving on to the city. So let's go ahead and put isotopes level 2 processing there. We will put the isotope input module boy here. We will put the waste boy over here, because that's kind of close to things. We'll put the employee module over here, because we won't have to get to that as often. And then we'll put the output module over here. The plug is where it touches the thing, and then the other thing is where it, we need to access it via conveyor belt. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put as much storage as we possibly can there, and then just waste receptacles around the edge of the room because we're, again, procrastinating. And then we will put uh, something else over here. I don't really know. Just more storage is good. Uh, and then we'll put all of this stuff over here. I don't really know why. I just I'm struggled to do this. I suppose we'll put all of the isotopes in this building. Um, I may have wasted... Actually, that may be a massive waste. Let's not do quite that much. What is the cancel button here? Nice hot keys. There we go. Good. I'll do that. But Although I actually may need that much waste. Yeah, let's put those ones back. Okay, cool. Um, so this is getting to be a lot of work for my employees. I'm going to need more of them soon. Are most of them mining? We can start to access what they're actually doing over here. One of them is working at the mine. We've now got three committed to employee modules. It's soon to be four, processing the minerals and the isotopes. Um, another thing that I'm going to go ahead and start... Oh, wait a second. Oh, I can actually differentiate between the different types of them that I have. This is interesting. Now, we are getting that kind of vocal drone. This is what I was talking about before when I said it sounded like the image in heap stuff. I don't know. It's just giving me image in heap vibes. Can employees ask for more money? Uh, McVenner says, hey, how are you, McVenner? Um, I don't believe that they ask for more money. We just sort of pay them, although they are brainwashed, kind of. 
Oh, which also, it's time to ask the council for more money. We just need to keep requesting credits from them. Although we're about to do something that's going to be kind of a power play to just get a ton of credits. And then after that, uh, we have 55 minutes before the enemy attack. I think we'll just need one turret before the first enemy attack. But then we're going to kind of snowball uncontrollably and become very powerful. That being said, having tried to play this game on normal, like, I got kind of creamed. So I, that's why I'm underestimating myself here, because I didn't want it to be like a 90 minute lead up to just kind of getting trounced at the end of it. Um, so I might be making it look slightly easier than it is, but that's only because I'm being overly cautious. Um, although this time is going to go by even faster now. Um, okay, so other things that we should start to think about are population housing, which we've got population right here. We've got residential zones. And we can spend another 1,000 credits on that. We've got 2,500 of those right now. And we've also got offices, which will allow us to basically start um, generating tons of credits. Like 3,000 credits a day just by getting people to watch ads. Um, the military will be the next thing that we think of once we have all of those resources. But let's also go ahead and tell them to only use level 3 isotopes and level 3 minerals for now. And I'm hoping that this will work. Are we processing these things? Let's just go ahead and make sure that our work flow chain is happening the way we intend it to. Okay, we will not have minerals in here. And then let's just copy this over. Can we copy over these settings? Uh, okay, we can't. Can we copy the actual storage, though? Hmm. Oh, I wonder if we could put waste into normal storage things. I have not actually tried that yet. That might be kind of a good last-ditch effort, but whatever. Oh, yeah, we really don't want them putting minerals in there, though. Okay, so this isn't totally efficient. We really want another worker. We want more workers because now our workers are a bit overloaded. Mm, I'm going to go up to the top floor to make sure that they're starting to actually make these things. So we still don't really have enough power, and that's because we're negative on power. Whoops. Okay, so let's go ahead and handle that. So we're going to go back to this other building, and whoops, i got to zoom out again and get some power. Uh, oh no, I've actually upgraded this already. Oh, wait a minute. Have I? Oh no, we have to use the other isotopes. Oh no, this is actually rather unfortunate, because I need to... I will just disable this building, and then everything is fine again. Momentarily. Okay, so let's process those isotopes, then we get a third floor onto our power generation, and then use all of that power generation to then power the isotopes. Ugh, it's a mouthful. Yes, it's a very good soundtrack. It almost sounds like, uh... I don't know, I used to listen to this album a lot. when I, I can't stop laughing whenever I see that. Um... Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't actually... Oh, wait, no. We got more of this. Sorry, I totally just kind of messed that up. I was not getting enough fuel. Okay, never mind. Let's get more fuel like that. Okay, this is good. Good, so we don't even necessarily need a third floor of power right away yet. I'm just gonna ditto over my design from floor one. I believe this is the same. This was a pretty efficient design. Maybe not perfect, but there we go. Okay, good, so we've got plenty of fuel now. Still at negative four. Well, we just need more fuel generation. We can build a small boy fuel thing. Okay, let's build a small boy fuel thing. See what that does. We want to get these down to zero and zero if we can. Or, well, we really just want as many of them as we possibly can get, but... There's got to be some really tetris -y way to do this that I just haven't discovered yet. We still need more fuel, so we'll do another small one. That's good. That way we can get pretty much even on power. Uh, and do we have the isotopes? Are these the droids we are looking for? Hey, Sarah. Oh, cool. Thanks very much for coming out. I might catch you on YouTube. Didn't know you stream too. I, I do indeed stream. Yay, verily. Indeed, I do. Uh, we have to do an, a long and tenuous chain of annoying power buttons again. I accidentally just didn't do this. That has been the... I just didn't do it. 
<laughs> because now we have all the isotopes stuck at level two. I, I feel like it, it would be a little bit... It just kind of feels like automation for the sake of automation a little bit here, I feel. It would be interesting to see some slight more functionality because it just kind of feels like extra steps right here. I'm kind of wondering if I haven't noticed how this system is like operative in the rest of the game, but just kind of a curiosity there. I mean, it does kind of add in challenge, although, and I, I do enjoy a challenge, so there is that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to think. Now we can get out into where more of the game is actually happening, because this is more of a city builder, although I feel like there are all these granular steps in the first hour of gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and get, um, we have plenty of money or whatever we need. Oh, and we also have all of this money. Please give us more money. Okay, there we go. We have a lot of money. We'll just take some of that from them because I do need some of that to procrastinate in here. Now we're going to go ahead and build a residence. So there we go. Um, this is going to allow us to house a lot more people. And then we're also going to upgrade... Um, okay, let's reopen our uh, minerals, Maria, right? Because we've had the power off on this thing for quite a, quite a while. Um, let's do that again. Okay, it's back on the grid. Do we have enough power generated for that, though? We're going to need to use a lot for our residents, so we might need to create another power place. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's more variety once you unlock the, the military fleet. I couldn't actually get to this in the tutorial because it costs 5,000 credits, which is extremely expensive, and I got onto, like, a downward death loop in my resources. And then I was just like, oh, no, I need to restart, so I need to retry. So, I fi again, I feel like there might be a little bit of balancing to be had here because I feel like this would make the defense of the game a little bit more interesting, which right now I'm kind of reduced to just building a defense turret, turret in, like, a good... Two to three hours of gameplay in which people get the gist of what's going on. I think that would be nice if the price on that were brought down. Um, uh, let's see. Energy plant. Converts fuel into energy to be used by energy pylons. So, uh, do we actually have a fuel... Con converts Zethane from the air... Uh, basically the fuel just comes out of the air on Titan. From Zethane. Um, 1k credits. Converts Zethane into the air to be fueled to be used by energy plants. Does extra collateral damage if destroyed. That is probably not good. Um... Hmm. So, pretty much, we had done this all very granularly. I know I keep using that word, but good way to describe it, I suppose. In this factory, where we're getting the fuel out of the air, the suction from the air, if you can kind of see that little animation, and then we transfer it via power to the reactors, or the generators, and that makes it into actual usable power. But I think we can just kind of expedite this all into one building. So, I'm going to ask for more money... <laughs> And then, let's just build these buildings, I guess, because... I mean, I don't really see the point of... Why have we stopped working here, also? Here is more money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Flack. Flack, how are you, also? <laughs> Thank you for the 21 months. Flack is like the OG sub. How are you, my friend? Hey, Jaden, how are you doing? Yeah, thanks very much for coming out. And Bitter Valkyrie, thank you very much for the sub. And Spongy Hubba Bubba, thank you very much for the sub. And Queen Jmi. And Hattrick Lord. I missed that before, I apologize for that. Um, hmm. Why are we not really processing? Wait a minute, we are processing these things. Yeah, they're totally coming out of the output. What gives? Hang on a second. Oh, we just don't really have enough workers to handle all of this, I think. Like, they're spending some time over there. Now he puts in an input. Yeah, we're just going to need more workers. So let's go ahead back out, and we'll probably upgrade our HQ. It's sort of like I keep getting stuck at little bottlenecks here and there. Um, yeah, because we used to have so many of those things available. They're just making these at a very slow rate. Um, we should also probably set a new target for our mine. Did I miss that? No. Yeah. Okay, good. So we have more minerals. Okay, yeah, I don't want to waste the minerals that haven't even been processed yet either. Okay, another thing that I'm probably going to start thinking about is a smokestack. This does generate pollution, but we need to get rid of this waste somehow. So I'm just going to be kind of quick and dirty here. And a uh, very beautiful rotation, but let's put this over uh, there, kind of, for lack of a better place. Right next to our town. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out. 
Hmm. Have I heard of Against the Storm? Yes, hopefully we will be playing it soon enough. Hmm. I've just had so many games on my list. Yeah, verily. Um, okay, the smokestack level one, and we've got another residence here. We've got also 38 minutes before the people come, which is going to be lower because of the speed at which I am doing this. Uh, now we have a lot of room for people, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and take more people in through our spaceport. That's only one guy, but it's only two influence. Is anything else coming soon enough? Okay, Pracella excess is en route in... 15 seconds. Let's just figure out what they have. This isn't a very good ship. This one guy. Okay, that's a little bit better. Four. I'll take it. And then we'll um, uh, basically brainwash more people. Okay, so let's go ahead and make more employee beds. Um, I think I might as well just upgrade this. Yeah, let's upgrade that. Give people more beds. Give the people what they need. Because now we need a lot more employees. Um, and I, I think we're going to have to rely on one singular turret, which we should probably make sure that we have enough stuff in reserve. So I'm going to get those credits ready right now. We're going to need 400 mineral CUs, and we have the isotopes that we need. Like, we will very soon, and they are starting to get converted, but there's quite a lot of other projects that are kind of dependent on this. And you can now see that we're down to 270 credits, which is very low. And we might not have enough to, like, pay our own employees at the end of the day, which I haven't even had that happen yet, so I am very worried if that will happen. Um, yeah, let's not have that happen, because that would be very bad. Oh no, now I'm actually running out of money and everything. Um, this is bad. This is very bad. Um, okay, hopefully we'll be able to keep asking the council for more money. Um, we do generate trade tickets and influence pretty much for free. But yeah, I'm guessing that this is a lot of like what people were led into. Like as I was talking, there were some people who had played for like two hours and they were just like, I hit a bottleneck. Um, I, f I feel like there are a couple areas here that could be streamlined just in like resource costs, just to make it a little bit more like smooth boy. But I mean, other than that, like it's, it's kind of a vibe, but like it, it, is, it is the automation five head game. Um, let's go ahead over to beds, habitat, pod. Let's put this over here. I think we'll just do these around the edge of the room so that people can sort of access them and then more energy bridges. And we'll do this. We'll just do a small one right there. Something like that. Yeah, everything kind of does have a, a uh, Blade Runner pod. Have I planned my roads yet? Nope. Um, we haven't really got to that phase yet. I'm not sure if we will. But it's probably going to be horrible when we do get to it. Um, because so far, we've just sort of been walking between the buildings for right now. Uh, which is, which is, well, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're, we are finding ourselves needing more power. Okay, can I have more money? There we are. Subtle voice crack. Um, residential we already have the residential we have more people can we oh yeah we should be brainwashing more people so let's go back over here to this although we will then owe them more money which isn't really what we want uh, this is quickly turning into just like a dystopian horror show um yeah and i'm going to need more artifacts as well okay yeah so we seem to have hit the like the rock bottom in a lot of these things although although is there anywhere that we can kind of let up in our resource acquisition and usage Let's go ahead and stop with the isotopes for right now for just a minute. Because we don't really need them. We're finding ourselves having to turn off parts of our grid here and there. Which is not necessarily the most satisfying th thing to do. I don't love that. But at the same time, I don't have too many other options right here. Um, and also, we could probably disable the mine as well. Yeah. Let's deassign the... Deassign, that's a word. Um, employees from there. And that, and... Do you have people available? I just want people carrying things from place to place. Okay, good. We're a little bit better on power now. No, we aren't. Okay. We're just gonna have to roll up our sleeves and do this the old-fashioned way. Um... Nope, that didn't work either. Could we upgrade? Uh, we can't because we don't have enough isotopes to use. Okay, we could go wide and then go high, which it seems I did not do this time. 
but is there a faster way to power right here? Fuel turbine? We could do this if we get another 1k credits. Can we ask the council for more money? Oh, we have a couple more seconds until we can ask the council for more money. And then we find out what happened. We find out what happens. I started to sound like Smeagol right there. We find out what happens when we have to ask for more money. And they just don't have it. There we go. Okay, requesting credits. Okay, what is, like, number one, the most essential thing that we have to do right here? I would say... Honestly, uh, everything, I'm like, I need more of everything right now. Uh, logistics, transport hub, uh, none of this stuff do we really need. Energy plant. Energy, de okay, we won't need the energy depot. So I'm gonna go ahead and say... Well, number one, the most essential thing we're going to need is the office. And then we'll just have to procrastinate our way into doing more fuel. Okay, I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to put in another factory right here. And it's a little bit like a big game of chess so that I can get to this turret right now. Because, like, honestly, if I don't get these resource chains going right now, we are in a, in a horrible position uh, to survive for the rest of the game. I need to keep burning these resources with the waste. Just because the waste is starting to pile up. Speaking of which, let's just procrastinate yet again here. And just create more waste receptacles. Because it is starting to make things kind of chug along. And we'll also... You know, we'll claim that... Is there anything else we can claim very fast? Because we do have some influence here that we can do something with. Uh, this one might be good. Two artifacts. Uh, actually, that is quite a lot of minerals, though, too. Let's just extract the artifacts, though, because we now have these mines. And let's claim this and let's take these artifacts. That's quite good, too. Okay, that's quite nice. Now we have the factory. We can get more power going. I'm going to enter there again and do exactly the same thing until we can get that actual building going, which we're going to need more credits for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we'll put this down here. Yeah, the offices are good, but the power drain is quite awful. Like, we're going to need a lot more power if we go that route, which is why I was trying to get the fuel thing going simultaneously, but I just kind of got stuck. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, to be fair, stuck at a bottleneck. To be fair, to be fair. Do I even need a big one of these? It seems I do. Here we go. All right, so there's that. And then this is going to transport it back out to the pylon. And then we put this here. And then we do need a lot more fuel, so let's go ahead and put in another one of those things. I think my ratio wasn't really perfect on this, but we're just going to get more nonetheless. Oh, we do have room for three of these things if we do it like this. That might actually be a little bit better, only because we're currently not handling our fuel situation. So well, that's slightly better, although we do have this one awkward square. It is what it is. All right, great. Now we have tons of power going. Um, and we can go ahead and we have 175 here. 200 we're back up to. So let's go back into population and we can build that. Oh no, we need 300. Never mind. Well, that should become available in a number of seconds. I don't really want to waste the ones that are still getting processed there. Um, we can power this back on, I think now. Let's go ahead and power back on our mine. Let's just get everything going. Otherwise, I'm going to forget it. And then we can do power, uh, production, smokestack. Legit no, wait a minute. Nope, office. That's what I wanted. Okay, now we're quickly getting up to that office. Then we'll finally have enough to pay our employees, which we are almost out of money. Can I please have just a little... Or maybe we can just barely... Nope, I'm not going to risk this. I don't want to risk like a worker revolt. Or I genuinely don't even know what happens there. Uh, we may see it, though. Someone may die horribly. We'll learn. We'll learn. Turbine and the power plant and the betas. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that would have been better than just doing these awkward power fuel factories, but... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. So this is power. I'm going to name this power, too, because that's my second power one. This has just hit 1.0, so it was in early access, actually for the last two years. Um, it is beautiful. It, it is honestly, like, this is an incredibly beautiful voxel game. I have not seen voxels really done 
like amazingly well, aside from here and Urbeck. Like those are the two. Oh, also there is one that will not be named that I have that I have seen. Now there are many more exceptions because the years have gone by. Although I was never really a voxel person to begin with. Um, that being said, yet here they are, and yet here they are in our lives. And so we have the office, and now we have six citizens. Let's go ahead and start importing more people. This looks pretty good. Five people. Um, okay, so these are citizens, and I want to get a lot of citizens out. Now, I could have had them do a monetization thing, but I'm going to just have this office there anyway. Okay, so basically here's how the workday works. During the leisure time, they're just... I don't really even know if they're doing leisure. They're... Like, they are generating some resources during that time, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know, why are you giving me a transmission? Technology for every solution. This is word sludge. I've seen uh, this is o hey, hey, uh, ominous. Oh, I think he might be one of the rebels. Never mind, ignore him. Uh, we have 17 minutes before the uh, rebel wave attack, and we do need a military before then. But oh, you are getting dangerously close to the military now. Um, okay, I'm going to ask the council for more money just to cover my liquidity right here. Thank you. Please, uh, please send just a couple more. Like, can I have, like, $50? Um, yeah, leisure is them going home. Well, also, I don't know if I'm really prepared to, like, encounter many more needs than that from them right now as it is. Can I see the actual flow of resources here? It would be great if I had, like, a, a little cash flow, um, like, tick there. That would be nice if I knew how many we were generating and burning with the waste. Although we do have a pollution overlay to look at. Oh, wait, no, that's Zethane. Here are the, like, geysers in the ground. Uh, we haven't really even crossed that bridge yet. Um, okay, good. We have tons of isotopes, and let's just go ahead and check out the mineral factory. Okay, there is just sludge all over the floor uh, we need to we need to speed up this process so I'm just going to mm, how am I going to do this we're also running low on power as well so let's handle the power situation again uh, this keeps happening to us we will go in again okay now we will probably add another floor here I'm going to shut down my isotope factory while I do this and let's just upgrade this so we can just do another one, and then when we have more credits, we'll do it. Ah, but now we are starting to... Or we will start to generate more credits tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow it will happen. They are getting dangerously close to being able to attack us. Uh, are we even going to have enough for our military? This is actually kind of concerning now. I am a bit worried, because I am playing on easy, and I have really not, like, gotten a lot more faith in myself as I've done this. We are probably going to need to power down some stuff. And I'm also just going to save really quickly in case if I, like, futz this up horribly. Um, help. There we go. Um, good. Okay, so this is going to be the second level of power. We just need a lot of it. We're going to go in here. And then if we go up to the second floor, and then, and then, my friends, we do this. And then exactly the same thing as we are privy to do before, except maybe we'll have some slightly better power generation stuff going on here. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll even do another one of those because we don't really need the generation. We seem to run out of fuel a lot first here. Can we do that? Or let's just see. Maybe we could do, like, one of the medium ones? We need another one of these, I believe. And we need another one of these. We have tons of mineral CUs, though. That is quite good. Okay, good. And then we're just going to hook those up to the power grid. And I'm just going to keep doing this small thing. I mean, eventually I'll be able to use it all. We're out of minerals again. Let's see if we can start to harvest some of these from the environment as well. Um, do I have anybody in the mine? Oh, we got to set a new target again. I honestly, I think it would be nice if that process were just automated because it, it, it does feel like another thing that I kind of just forget about. Um, let's go ahead and do production. I don't really want to spend the money on another mine. Let's just go ahead and harvest some more ruins over here. Um, hmm. We could survey these as well, because I think we have the extra employees. Let's claim this and salvage there. 
claim this and salvage there again. Okay, that's going to give us yet even more for our mineral chain. Though we have 86. It's really just a matter of processing. Okay, we're good on isotopes. And again, we're just like at capacity with the waste. Um, mm, can we plug in multiple of these things into the same... Let me just test this with one of these things, and then I'm just going to put a lot more of these things throughout the room. Because it's just taking up a lot of space. And I'm going to also just tell them use anything. I'm going to kind of procrastinate here. Okay, there we go. And are we generating credits now from our office? Uh, zero cre Yeah, we still aren't getting it. But we do have more room for employees, though. Okay, let's start brainwashing a few more people. Uh, we are running out of power again. Yeah, like, we do seem to have hit a massive bottleneck. Mm. Anyway, we'll keep depending on those. Claim, salvage. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Mm. But it does look... It does appear to me, at least, as if we will then be able to build the turret that we want because I've kind of freed up this bottleneck at the sake, at the sake of, like... If this is going to hurt us in the long term, but at least we won't die off horribly right now. You know what I mean? Okay, this thing is, like, operating really weirdly. Okay, let's go ahead and... Is this powered? No, it's not powered. Ugh. What is going on here? You know what? Let's just, like, disable the office for right now because it's this huge power drain. Maybe even the residentials? Uh, I don't really know if I want to do that right here, though. We're running low on fuel. But at the very least, it'll allow us to just train some more employees so that we can get some more of this waste cleared up. Um, oh, we can't even convert because we didn't pay our employees. Okay, so then that's actually just the consequence here. So then we just have sad people walking around for a while. Okay, I'm all right with that, I suppose. They almost have enough for a military turret, which, my god, we're going to need that in a moment because, yeah, like, stuff is about to hit the fan right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's just procrastinate horribly and then do this. Keep all of these things in our range, and then we'll probably burrow them underground. Um, I believe that's covering our entire base. Okay, so we are saved, although we are, like, stuck at a horrible, horrible bottleneck. Yeah, um, the intake location. I may need to move, that's true. Um, I mean, honestly, we're just going to need to build more... We need more, um... Here we go. Ask for more money. That puts us at 750. So we may need to, we may be able to pay them today, and then we're gonna need more fuel to power this office tomorrow. It just seems like you get stuck at kind of this sluggish pace when you aren't able to get the fuel. Okay. Well, in that case, then let's just go ahead and put another big fuel thing over here. That's one, and I think we may even be able to fit in another one. Yep. And then I think we could fit in a small one over there, too. Okay, we're saved. Sort of. I could probably do a fuel storage, too. Maybe even a battery. But I don't think that's really the issue right here. Yeah, we'll put in one small fuel tank, just in case. Maybe, like, right there. That's an awkward space. Ah! Ah! Thank God we have enough for the defense turret because that was actually quite, like, worrisome to me. Okay, so, like, a slightly shameful moment because I clearly don't understand where the bottlenecks lay in wave survival. Um, I wasn't able to get up a defense grid in time, so I'm just, like, kind of shamelessly save scumming right here. I'm going to assign an employee to this. Please, someone go there. Um, because the enemy is attacking us in one minute, and we were not really ready for that. I was trying to get credit payments going early on. Because we had tons of mineral generation, we had tons of isotope generation, sort of. I mean, that'll still kind of keep progressing along, but we weren't really handling waste, and we weren't really handling credits, and it does kind of get put into this awful bottleneck where we didn't have any defenses. However, we should be fine now, considering that we have one defense turn, and if not, then I will just have to, like, kind of eat my hat right here. Um, I'm probably going to leave out my other buildings, but... 
Uh, let's see if this works. Otherwise, I will be sad. In which case, I will probably end up doing some campaign boy stuff. But in the meantime, let's just assume that it's going to work and also take care of some of the other things. Air purifier might be good, but also I'm being told that, like, um... More money, please. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I have a thousand credits now, and I need to put some of that toward a fuel turbine um, and an energy depot, I believe, because, uh, or rather an energy plant, because there are better spots for the zethane gas. Yeah, so it is more concentrated around the vents, although I wanted to keep my base, like, very tucked in and nice like that, but I, I don't seem to be able to do that. So let's go ahead. And I want to get the territory overlay. Here we go. All right, let's claim this land. This land is your land. This land is my land. But this land is my land. I will confirm this. We will just continue to not pay our employees because I am now learning that this is just an option. They don't really rebel. They just kind of, like, sit around. Um, mm, we can target that again. Okay, go back to work. Go back to work. All right, so we should be getting attacked by basically Quan Chi now, who is a rebel. There is rather good voice acting, although, again, I feel insecure when someone has better voice acting than me. Like, there's even, like, a spunky engineer girl who almost sounds like Borderlands-y. It's very, it's very, like, um, I don't know, it's very nice. Okay, so the um, let's see. We have the fuel figured out, or we will probably have the fuel figured out, and pro probably this will work in a moment. Um, let's go ahead and brainwash some more people in a moment once we get this thing figured out. Well, we do need to power our turret. Please, turret, don't like go offline in the middle of this whole thing. Okay, so good. We are shooting back at the rebel ship, and it's called Freedom K1. I think we're doing better a job shooting it than it is shooting us, so we have 4% of our health off, and it has slightly more than 4%. I think it's going to die slightly sooner than we will. We may even be able to repair our thing, too. Assuming that the ship doesn't get stronger, also. And assuming that we also don't miss, we should be okay. Well, let's go ahead and set an employee onto that. That way we can get our fuel generation. Please, turret, stop turning off because the power grid is not really working. Um, hang on a second. <laughs> uh, go over here. Uh, turn that off. And, you know, just stop worrying about the waste for right now. Let's just divert all of our resources toward this. Don't even worry about the minerals, Marie. Let's just put everything toward the turret. Just shoot him. Okay, good. All right, our turret has stopped dying as quickly as they have. Amazing. Look at how much power is being generated when we just don't do anything. All right, so I think we're going to make slightly more intelligent moves with this power now. Um, okay, how do we get credits again? All right, so assuming that we're going to win this fight, let's just get on with the rest of our lives. I would like to spend more time on combat because it seems very beautiful and amazing and there is like a whole fleet combat system and you can fight the rebel bases. But it does seem like that there is kind of a rather long gameplay loop to get to that. So right now we are just sort of like, pew pew, we finally won, we beat you. Uh, thank God, that could have been, is there a fire down there? All right, I'm just going to ignore that and move on. Yeah, I know, I thought it was reloading as well. Like, oh, it just goes underground in order to reload. No, it's fine, it's fine. That's so good. So the rebels have been destroyed. Rebel scum. You and I both know why you won, Founder. I'll give you a taste the of the voice acting here. Money. One day, there, there will be a reckoning and you'll get the present. Okay, so this is the council member. So is the Honestly, the council is not very helpful. Like, I don't see why we don't just rise up and take their stuff. Because they clearly don't really seem to have any, like, anyone there to help. They were like, oh no, everything is being destroyed. Hopefully you will do something about it. Um, we should probably repair some of this, too. Four cre only four credits for a full repair. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, we don't have any credits right now. We will need some credits. Okay, so the credit situation is quite bad, I am aware. I, I, I am addressing the credit situation. 
Uh, we're going to need to go back and get our office and our residential spaces made again, which fortunately we are, have a copious number of resources, so that shouldn't be too, too bad for us. Um, mainly right now we do have six citizens, so let's go ahead and put this down. And we'll just start generating some credits during the work phase of the day. Right now they're in the leisure phase, but they should go in there to start watching some advertisements. Momentarily, momentarily. And we are currently generating uh, almost enough fuel, so that is good. But it's pretty good. Oh, wait a second. Why is everything on fire? Okay, just repair it. Uh, just repair it. Please repair it. Someone, please. Hang on a second. There we go. Repair. Good. I didn't know that there was a fire mechanic. Or is that the pollution mechanic that's horribly snowballing with everything else? Okay, they seem to be remedying the situation out there. I feel like the guy at the site of a hurricane. <laughs> Hank, how are you doing out there? It's awful. <laughs> you know how they always have the guy who's on the scene? <laughs> oh no, we just lost our entire turret. Uh, that is quite sad. Okay, so I, an after another horrible save scum, I neglected to notice the fact that uh, credits are equivalent to water in this game and money. So yeah, we were able to put out the fires. I just thought that would be a very stupid way to end the run and die. So I decided to just save scum horribly. Hear me now and judge me later or just judge me now. But you know, there there is that. After all, water costs money, right? To be fair, to be fair, it, I mean, it does cost money. It's on your utility bills. All right, so we now have uh, just copious, copious amounts of fuel going. I do wish that you had these from the beginning because it seems a little bit crazy that I have to set that up in a factory. So like I said, maybe like there's a little bit more balancing to be done here. But okay, I think now we actually have our fuel situation better. I am going to save though because I seem to be making a horrible, a hor hor horrible with one, with one B. I make horrible mistakes. I suppose I am kind of a smooth brain. All right, but oh my gosh, wow. Poggers, look at all of that fuel. Very poggers. Okay, so now we have just ton more fuel than we ever could possibly know what to do with. I should have researched one of those things first and put it next to the gas um, over here. Oh my gosh, is this thing safe? Not really, but it's okay. Okay, so at this point in time, we need credits. We just need some way of getting credits because we can have a military. It can all be ours. But we're definitely going to need more minerals. And we're going to need more offices. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Currently got enough tier 3 stuff being built. But we also kind of need to take care of the, um, of the waste. There's just so much waste around us. But we are generating power, so let's go ahead back and brainwash more people to make them into employees. Now we can actually do this, despite the fact that there is garbage everywhere. Um once we pay our employees. Yeah, I feel like that that's a lot of bottlenecks. Like, I can't make more employees, and then it kind of penalizes me for not being able to make employees by making it harder for me to make employees. Um, I wonder if there's a faster way to get to the council. Claim the ruins and salvage them so that we can start dumping it. Um, Fair, fair, but at the same time, I'm not really limited by the amount of, like, waste that I've got right here. I'm more limited just by... Well, I am kind of limited by that, but at the same time, there's just a bunch of bottlenecks on me. Um, hmm. I think it's mainly the fact that there's just so much trash on the floor in here, which we can sort of solve that problem just by putting down more waste receptacle areas, so let's go ahead and do that. Because that's going to kind of... I mean, I'm kind of looking at every problem as a nail to be hammered in, so to speak. But it's just going to have to do for now. Because we can do this... We can solve this with minerals. Which we happen to have a lot of those. To make minerals faster. There we go. Okay, pick that up. Pick that up. Start stepping over it. Now we're just going to, in a massive burst, ask the council for a lot of money at once... And then tomorrow, we should be able to start brainwashing more people. I believe. I believe we can. And that's the last payday. So after another... Hmm, how long does a day last? So a day lasts 17 hours. And I don't really know what that equates to in real lifetime, but we'll have to, like, 
get a lot of stuff done there. Phew. I think I may have expanded out a little bit too densely inside a little bit too fast. Like, I could have gone further around. But then I couldn't really defend some of these buildings on my grid for, like, military stuff. Um, hang on a second. I just have to, like, kind of formulate a plot. Or end up in jail and shot. In the words of, of Eminem. I am confusion again. I am confusion, chat. What should we really focus on? Um, claiming more territory and salvaging more ru ruins for free resources. I feel like we kind of have them, though, and those also cost us influence, too. The main thing is, maybe it's just my impulse to, like, be very self-dependent, but it's an idea. Thank you, Hope Cat. We have a large 3-3 store waste, and it's very efficient. Wait, what is the 3-3? Three, three? Oh, we could have done that with waste, too. That's fair. Okay, so we're, I think we're going to try a very unconventional strategy. Actually, that, that was a, quite a good idea. 3x3 three three for waste storage. It's not really designated as like an accepted tool in the game. But I do feel like there are a lot of things that are limiting me. Kind of in ways like I can only do a certain number of tickets with the council. It would be really nice to be able to trade more of my influence right now. But I just simply can't because they'll only interact with me a certain number of times. I need stuff for payday. So I should be I should have enough to pay them for the next payday, but that's already like half the time before the next enemy comes along. Um, and I want to be able to generate more power before then. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these bays for just waste. This is very unconventional, but we're just going to have to do it right here because it's going to store a lot of them. 108 waste. It's going to actually free us up a little bit there. That's quite good. Um, other than that, 275, so we will get to processing more of these things a little bit faster. I almost wish we could get a sec- we could get a second factory, but I think it's just that people are so slow from here. <laughs> Look at them go. Look at them go. <laughs> uh, how is the second floor? The second floor is really not that much better here. Oh, we never actually did any, um, storage containers up there. Okay, well, we'll do this. Let's put in really big ones because we seem to be having better success with those. Okay, yeah, we just need more people. And then we can start to get them working. But yeah, it does seem kind of odd to, like, penalize you for not having enough workers. To not have enough workers again? I don't know. It just kind of, like, it's a positive feedback loop. Um, but it can kind of spiral out of control, I suppose that is to say. And it is survival. Um, the energy plant would be a, a next good thing to invest in, but now that we have so much energy, just this copious amount of energy, let's go ahead and create our residences again and our office. That way we can start to generate our own credits instead of having to continuously ask the council for them. Um, because that's going to put our two citizens to work watching advertisements. Um, okay, here we go. Now we can get the office, and I am going to just kind of keep this densely packed in with the other ones it may get me killed but at least i'll have a i may have a little bit more time and we'll also repair this thing now that we have some time okay so good that puts my two citizens to work let's also start to import more i'll take that i mean i gotta get more citizens somehow we'll do it so we're gonna go ahead and rebuild the office and like i said i think that there is a pretty generous um oh good we're back on the work day so now it appears that we are paying our workers. And can we just request credits so that we have enough to pay everyone? Good. So projected end of day balance is actually positive there. We have managed to pay our workers for a day. And if we go back in here, I guess we have to wait until the end of the day. But around this time of the day, once we get our office up, our citizens should start watching advertisements in order to generate credits for us. Um, I'm getting in another thing of people. And I also need to... Where is it? I should probably get back to processing those isotopes in a minute. But let's wait till that thing is built. I thought that was on fire. Um, hmm, smokestack power. We do have a thousand credits. Or we will have a thousand credits. We're going to have to ask them for it again. Unlike my previous employers. I don't know why anyone would not want to come work for us. I mean, almost everyone who has come to this planet has died. 
This is almost like in um, Sons of Valhalla that we were doing yesterday. Like, I am a great leader. Hundreds of men have died under my command. Uh, uh, that was just like... I don't even need to explain it. It, it is just an inherently funny, uh, goofy, goofy happenstance. Ah. Uh, hmm. Still kind of waiting on this. I want to power this back up, but I'm afraid that as soon as I get the office... Okay, though, there is the office. So there is the office, and now... Five credits generated every five seconds, so that's pretty good. Credits earned per day is 3,072... Um, oh, wait a minute. No, so that's not actually what we're generating. We're generating 235, so that's currently half, but we can easily buff up those numbers. Um, that should go up. Citizens with jobs, five, so we just need to import more citizens. Insufficient living space, so we are going to need a residence again, which we do have that. We do have that. 175... I still kind of want them using only the tier 3 minerals. But you know what? Let's just free it up. Use whatever you want for a minute, and then we'll just get this thing done. Residential zone. Let's put that right next to the advertisement watching area. Okay, there we go. 305. So now we are almost at positive again. We've managed to get our workers for the day. Or the day ends in like 5 seconds. Ah, yes, we are full-on tickets. Thank you. We can... Well, first off, we'll just request a few more credits, and then we can start to claim more squares. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and do... We have claimed that. Uh, let's do... Uh, we'll claim more of this. We'll just get more free resources. We're going to need more things. We will salvage more artifacts. And let's go ahead and start surveying other stuff as well. A little bit more work for our um, workers, but... Good. So we're now on the next day, and we should be able to train those employees again. Okay, there we go. It would be nice if I could queue that. I would like to do that. Now, I don't really understand this because some of them... They say in these habitat pods, but this can be either workers or this can be employees. It kind of differs from place to place. Um, we'll just take more people. I'm not really judging these flights too much. I'm just kind of taking whatever is available. Um, but we are going to get another enemy attack in only 20 minutes. One turret may actually be enough to defend this one. But I'm thinking we're going to need another one. Now, we can burrow our buildings underground, which is quite useful. We're going to need a lot more of those minerals, though. Okay, I'm going to swap back to just use level 3, because I don't want to waste all of those other ones. You can see how that's such a huge bottleneck. It's like 5 times versus 25 times. It's like, ah, I really want to process them, but I'm afraid that I won't get to the full processing. Um... They'll probably attack us at the end of the next day. Yes, we have cybernetically improved them. Yeah, I mean, basically, like, they're loyal forever. It's kind of unclear why I have to pay them if they're, like... There we go. Oh, I guess it's in the deep lore. Here you go. Just get in there. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to go in. Uh... Yes, so the works is... So we have the office. The office is no good. I think we're good on credits now. Um, or it is going to get better. Ooh, 14. Insufficient living space. Ah, oh, but we're going to get this residence, like, any second now. We need the isotopes. Oh, we need only isotopes 1? I guess we have to do this as... Oh, that's funny. Huh. I thought that we would be able to do that with isotopes too. Maybe I should have done auto currency for everything. Hard to say. We'll prioritize that, though, so that we can start to import more of these people. Um, okay, so people are just sort of staying in their houses right now. Stay indoors! Stay indoors! Oh, and we have more of that. I will take a few more credits, because there's one more thing that we're going to need. We're going to need the energy plant, if I... If I can help it, because this is really going to be the last big thing that gets us... Like that good snowball effect I was trying to talk about. We'll put it right here only so that it's in the defense grid. Good isotopes. And then hopefully we can get one more turret like here-ish or here or something like that. Uh, but if we don't, then I may just go down in a blaze of glory. Remember me as I was. Remember me as I was. 
We've had 62 there. And they just have the leisure time of day. Can we somehow force them to work more? No, I suppose not. All right, just sit around and then they'll destroy the city in a little while. I'm not really sure. Is there anything else I can do that? All right there. Yeah, like, I, I find it odd to believe that they would be just sort of complacent about their whole city just getting destroyed in a few minutes. Like, yeah, you know, it's another day. Another day. Another day on Titan. Or do the Jimmy here thing. It's Wednesday, my dudes. It's, it's Wednesday. They're going to destroy our planet. Ah, good old Jimmy. Hmm. I will convert more people because I need more people to do things. Okay, good. At least this has freed more of them up from their horrible lives. I guess we really could have expanded out a bit more. I will do that right now. Just, like, kind of make up for all of my futzing around. But then that also requires the employees. There's always a trade-off. Always a trade-off. I'll take more credits again. But I think we are now positive on credits. Prioritized. Okay, well, some of them do appear to be working. There is that. Isotopes 1. Oh, it's just that we don't actually have any isotopes. Huh. You know, I was thinking that those resources would be more divisible because we have isotope level 3, so then that gives them th nine times of the resources. I suppose, though, that they have to use up one entire thing. Yeah, that is a little bit confusing. I didn't really catch on to that until right now. So this residence requires two isotopes. We have 39, so I thought that would work, but they actually need to get out isotope ones out from there. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a little bit... That's a little bit... The stumbling area. Let's get the employees there, though. Good. Okay, now we are generating massive amounts of power, and hopefully... Not everything will go horribly awry again. One of you will have to sit with the turret, and then probably some of the buildings will get destroyed. Yeah, I thought that we could divide up the resources into more, even with more of them, you know what I mean? Um, but okay, that's good to know now. Um, what else can I get the people doing? Gets the people going. Mm, let's go ahead and have more people. Good. Bring them in. Bring them in. Brainwash them. Brainwash them. Good. Okay, now we have all those isotope ones, so then we can create more residences. All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Now I think we can do one more defense turret. The command center is really just going to expand our territories. So I think we'll do one more. I figure one extra per wave is probably going to keep us alive a little bit longer. Um, if any if any of this will work. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead and like salvage some of this territory. What do we have right here? 16 of these, 9 of these. Yeah, we could just kind of claim some of these resources for our influence um, with the council. And also, are we doing this with the mine? Um, yeah, we do have another minerals patch going here. Oh, they actually don't have a route from this. I thought they could go from building to building here. I am learning. Um, okay, let's just destroy this mine because this is now basically useless to us. Um, uh, dismantle. There we go. Just do it yourselves. Do it yourselves. <laughs> Somebody get in there with a pick. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. Okay, now we have 400, 420 of those resources. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a, what a funny happenstance. There we go. Okay, and phew! Prioritize that. And I think we should be good for this attack. Uh, yeah, we're going to survive. Uh, do not prioritize that. Prioritize the turret instead. And then somebody get on that. So like I said, not really in a moment to catch our breath. But let's see if we survived two waves. That being said, I, I do feel like that you guys kind of got me in my, like, somewhat mid awkward phase of like still learning so i do apologize for that but at the same time um 
Yeah, I, that's pretty much what I saw. Like, people who give it one run through were just kind of like, eh, like bottlenecks. But now I, I can clearly see that I should have done fuel earlier, and then I would have done, like, the power resource. This thing is honestly way better than all doing all of that setup that we did. But it is there, and it's available. And I'm trying to figure out exactly, like, how that's more operative in the whole strategy of the game. Um, okay, we aren't getting enough fuel again. They're coming in 23 seconds. Uh, well, we do have a guy on the defense turret, and we aren't horribly running out of power. So I guess that's enough reason to be thankful. Let's see if we manage to survive this attack. And good, we are positive on credits. Okay, so I would be... As long as oh, you still yes, suck. let's try to burrow our buildings. Can we do back. it? No, I'm actually just barely not going to have enough money for this. All right, so then they'll just shoot the buildings instead, possibly. Oh, it's only one guy again, although he has more HP than the last time. Good, and they're also distracted by the building. Yes, be distracted by the thing that's not hurting you. Don't destroy the person that's shooting you. Hit the building because you just hate capitalism so much. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Um, although we do need to kind of repair this now. Uh, oh no, why is there fire everywhere? What? This can't be good. Yes, good. Now go for him. Now go for him. Uh. Couldn't we build a wall to keep people out from there? Or I guess like a dome is kind of like a wall for things that are in the air. Why is everything on fire? I mean, that is a beautiful effect, but it is making me very uh, nervous and upset. I guess we could have burrowed our buildings. Uh, yes, we are, we are horribly going to die of fire. Oh no, oh no, this is so sad. We were about to get enough credits to burrow our buildings, but actually that is, I, I fear that that may be the end. Um. Ah, uh, oh well. Anyway, two waves. I feel like that there were a few things that we could have changed. I, I think we are horribly going to die because we won't have enough credits here. But I feel as though, like, I showed, like, a very genuine, like, green, green horn beginner run of wave survival. Albeit we did survive one wave, which in the first time I didn't survive two waves. Um, or one wave. I survived two waves this time, though. But technically, I did survive two waves. So, you know, let it be remembered that AA is a five-head genius, especially at these strategy games where everyone is brainwashed and dies in the end. In conclusion, Industries of Titan, I have survived for two waves. Technically, I will have made it to the third wave because it's raining now, and that will... Wait a minute, will that actually cause my buildings to not be on fire? Oh, it actually does. There is environmental effects. How amazing. If only this had happened during the battle to me. This is what I think is cool about this game, is that there's so many systems and things that we actually didn't get to, because I think that this game, the way that the balancing is set up right now, requires you to get beyond the four to six hour mark, because I did see some people who had played for like four hours and then just kind of gave up because there is, there is, there are some, there are some bottlenecks. Um, I do hope that that gets kind of patched out. Like, five trade tickets is a little bit low. It would have been nice if I could have gotten, like, ten of those just to pay my employees from the beginning. And I feel like that would be a very simple rebalancing. Um, although there were areas where it just took me, like, three runs. This is my third run through survival. I had done the campaign. Or I had done the campaign, one survival run, and then this was my third run. Although I did not really understand this fuel turbine right next to the gas thing until right now um so a little bit of it is me like a smooth brain and kind of learning the whole game um but i i do kind of want to um i don't know suggest those features i hope that they like balance those little things out but at the same time i also think that there is a lot more content that we honestly just didn't even get to like the shipyard is 5k credits which comes up in the tutorial a little bit early and i just feel like that if some of those things were brought down in price there's so much more content too and we only just barely like we bit off a little bit more than we could chew um like we had our amazing now it's a destroyed office but it was a real office before um and that was able to or that would have gotten us credits so we were trying to get positive on credits but now unfortunately we're not making any credits now that everything is destroyed um 
but yeah, I just feel like that there's a couple of little balance things that I'm like, if that were just uh, switched up, it'll be uh, it'll be very much like a they are billions, albeit with space. And there is extreme production value in this game. Like I I cannot hit home enough how amazing the the beautiful voxel graphics are. And that very much does remind me of that kind of diplomacy of not a, is not an option vibe. Um, albeit with squares. Albeit with squares. Um, but yes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This was me. A little bit of a blind run, but I thought it was a good time. Um, please go ahead and, if you are interested, go ahead and check out my link in the description. That will be on the YouTube VOD or on the Twitch uh, side-scrolling on the chat. Um, and anyway, I guess, once again, thanks again to Brace Yourself Games for sponsoring this. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it gave you a taste of what's to come in um, Industries of Titan. Yes, also to like the trash everywhere. But again, this is one of those like wave survivals where it'll be like we either conquer it and do amazingly or we die. And we died, and that was pretty much expected. 